Students at Wesleyan University in Connecticut are continuing to protest against the school's decision to change its admission practices by ending what's known as need-blind admissions. Qualified students now face possible rejection if they're deemed unable to pay full tuition, now around $60,000 a year, making it one of the most expensive schools in the country. Students say the new policy will target the poor and middle class. Uh, the reason we're out here today is to stand in opposition to propose cuts to the need blind financial aid policy. Essentially what that allows the admissions office here to do, and in other places, is to actively discriminate against applicants based on their socioeconomic class. This is a decision that was made behind the backs of students, without transparency, behind closed doors, at a time when most of the students weren't even on campus to know about it. On Saturday, Democracy Now! fellow Nemo Allen attempted to interview Wesleyan President Michael Roth about the policy change after the school's football game. Roth refused to answer questions, then grabbed Nemo Allen's microphone and walked away with it. Has there been a total lack of transparency with this decision being made? President Michael Roth of Wesleyan University. Why do you think that? Why has there been a total lack of transparency with the. There has decision? been a lot of transparency. There has been a lot of transparency. There has been? Yeah. Excuse me. No. Well, no. Who are you? You have to give that back. I don't have to. I'm with democracy now. Thank you. <laughs> you have to give me that. I will. Well, we're going to walk up. We're not going to walk over to the media relations. Wesleyan President Michael Roth eventually returned the microphone after being instructed to do so by a police officer. This person is following me around with a camera. I have no idea who he is. is I'm serious. I'm, my, I'm Michael Roth. And could you? I don't know if it's elite, if it's legal for someone to come up and take, have a camera. I have his microphone, so I don't know what the law is about this, but I don't know who he is. He's Excuse me. Can I, can I speak to him for one second? Do you mind? Uh, yes. Yeah, can you just stay right there for one second? Otherwise, you're interfering with me, okay. and I'll put you under arrest. Sure. All right? Thank you. Let me talk to this gentleman. He's, he's really, he's still. I just need, okay. I don't know who he is. I don't know if he's really, I need to just go through this dance. That's his microphone. Get it back to him. Okay.